We are in a freight recession and I will share exactly how you can survive this storm while other trucking companies are going out of business as we talk. We are down 50% of spot market freight since 2022 and freight pays over 20% less than it did a year ago. Trucking companies are shutting their doors at alarming rates. Only in July 2023, medium-sized trucking companies started closing their doors at almost a 50% faster rate than the month before. I'm sure what you're asking yourself is, how did we get here? What caused this? And how can I keep my trucking company safe in this market? I'm going to explain the reasons why we are in this situation and actionable tips on what you can do to save your trucking company in these tough times. Before we go any further, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell because we upload a new video every week that will help your trucking company become successful in these difficult times. Now, there are four ways you can keep yourself safe from the freight recession, and some of them will actually surprise you. Not all trucking companies are going to fail, and the ones that pull through aren't lucky. There are strategic steps they will have taken. In this video, we will also talk about what these strategic steps are and how you can implement them in your trucking business. Let's go back two years when the world was going crazy. And most of us were locked in the house. The trucking industry was flooding with new trucking companies from mid 2020 to the beginning of 2022. At the peak, there were over 8,500 trucking companies that started in just one month. So many trucking companies started because the amount of freight needing to be hauled over the pandemic skyrocketed. People were locked in their homes, getting stimulus checks in the mail and couldn't use it in, on any services, only purchasing physical products online all day when they were bored. Not to mention that the price of diesel was the lowest it had been in years, making operating a truck incredibly viable. This led trucking companies to start rejecting freight, filling the spot market with high paying freight, which was the perfect storm for a big influx of drivers starting their own trucking companies. Now it's the end of 2022. COVID is no longer a big thing. All the services started opening up. People stopped getting stimulus checks and started spending more money on services such as hotels, flights, not physical products. This caused the freight volume to plummet, forcing the companies to stop rejecting freight and causing the spot market to crash. While the spot market was crashing, we still saw a massive increase in new trucking companies who still believed it was going to be a market for trucking companies, which led to the spot market crashing even harder. Now the volume of freight is steadily decreasing from the COVID high and the spot market is equally being driven into the ground. Now the average American's purchasing habits are not the only thing that caused the freight market to hit the low that it is at right now. Most of the manufacturing for the US is done overseas and we aren't the only ones that felt the effects of COVID. The overseas manufacturing isn't up to full capacity yet and is not always keeping up to the demand. And even if they were, the US has had problems with processing large volumes of import products at their ports for almost two years now. Now due to what they claim are labor shortages. It wouldn't be unreasonable to say that the trucking industry is in a tight spot right now. Many trucking companies will be forced to close their doors and the ones that will make through the freight recession will have had a solid strategy and game plan to safeguard themselves against this storm. The first and the easiest thing you can do right now is look at the freight that is insulated through this recession. Let me explain what I mean by that. Makeup or cosmetics are one of the most recession proof industries. Cold called and email those types of companies or accounts who have loads like these. Get working with them. Even if they don't pay enough, it is replenishing goods, items, which means people need them over and over, such as food. This opens up the possibility of building rapport with the company, which could lead you to more freight in the future. Let me give you another example. Healthcare. 
or pharmaceutical companies are the best industries to be in because people are going to get sick and need healthcare. These loads rarely slow down. They may get snagged, but not decrease in volume. The second thing you can do to safeguard your trucking company is to try haul different types of freight. It's kind of a subsection of the first one that I shared with you, but a little different. You may not be able to pivot that easily, but let me give you ideas that are still going to help you no matter what. The grain industry is not affected by what's happening right now. I have trucking companies who haul grain in hopper trailers that are rejecting 50 to 60% of freight they could haul. If you have a truck, you can go lease a grain trailer to start hauling that product. Or if you have a truck, ask a trucking company if you can use their trailer to haul grain for them and split the profits. Another industry could be fuel hauling. You could start hauling fuel tankers, or if you don't have a tanker trailer, you can go to a trucking company who have tankers and ask them if you could help them move those tankers. Everyone likes to make money, and if these trucking companies want to make money, they will bite on that offer. This is another easy option you can do right now to pivot and start making money with your trucking business. Livestock hauling, military equipment, bridges, construction machinery, or over-dimensional freight such as wind turbines, all are very insulated industries from the highs and lows of the freight market. Start cold calling and emailing those companies and accounts who have these types of loads. It is the fastest way to make your trucks start making money again. It's going to take some time to change gears, but do you really have another choice? No one knows how long the market will stay like this. Six months, 12 months, 18 months, who knows? Focus on building relationships with direct customers. It's hard, I get it, but persistence is key. I know what you're thinking. Big trucking companies have all the major accounts. Guess what? Big trucking companies were once small too. Although the time to do this was a year ago when everyone was trying to capitalize on the high of the spot market, the companies who were not price gouging their customers will be laughing right now. There is always freight in the market and we are going into the bid season for contracted freight. Evaluate every little bit in your operating expenses, cut down on every unnecessary expense you may have, be aggressive with your pricing. Stay ready to bid on these contracts. Someone is going to get it. Why not it be you? They may not be easy to find, but they're out there. And if you have something unique to offer to the customer, the others don't, then you have an upper hand. The medium to large trucking companies we work with have an employee or an entire team whose only job is prospecting freight deals. And if you are a small trucking business, start cold calling, emailing your core customers as much as you can to give whatever volume they have over to you. Even if you only break even, that's still better than losing money and sitting home and keeping those trucks sitting by the fence. The 2008 recession was so far worse than the situation we are in right now. What you can do is look at what trucking companies made through and what did they do to get on the other side of the 2008 recession. Follow in their footsteps to try and come out of the current situation unscathed. What many of the trucking companies from 2007 to 2009 did to stay alive was watching costs, especially operating costs, and making sure they weren't spending any money that was unnecessary. When it comes to hauling freight, they prioritize being ready to haul any type of load so they never had to turn down a load based on the type of freight. Look at every single expense you have and really value it if you need it. When the business is good, we all start buying and signing up for services, softwares that we really don't need. I'm personally guilty of doing that. Make a list of all your recurring expenses and highlight the ones you don't need. You don't use much of, and most importantly, things you can live without and cancel them right now. It's time to be smart and wise. A fool can make money when it's a good market. The ones who survive the storm are the real businesses. The freight market is doing a number on the trucking industry. 
although this is nothing that hasn't been seen before, most will pull through. If you cannot cut some cost, switch up some of your freight and be a prospecting machine for potential customers, then you should be able to get through this. I have no way of knowing if you like this video, leave a comment down below and if you found it useful, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.